Welcome to the tutorial on how to design a phone book using SQL Lite. I'll walk through you through the command line uh, so that we can get to it. First thing I'm going to do is change to the SQLite directory. Check out the directory, you'll notice there are absolutely no files in there. Now I'll fire up SQLite and I'll call it phonebook.db. There we go. Now we'll create a simple phone book and we'll use a, a name and a phone number. Uh, they're both strings, so we'll go create table phone book name string and phone string. Now if we check the schema, we'll notice that the phone book is in the database. Uh, if we quit, and then check the directory. You'll notice there's a phone book DB file with a couple of K of uh, space allocated to it. Now we'll open up the phone book again and we'll insert some values into into the phone book. So you say insert into phone book values J and 555-1234. Okay, J is the name and if you don't specify it assumes that you're adding the fields in the same order as in the create statement. So name is the first field, phone is the second field. And what I'm going to do is add some more more uh, fields, more uh, rows from uh, an adjunct file just to save myself some typing. But here we go. So we've got uh, that's four rows, um, five rows. six rows and one final row I believe okay now you'll notice we have seven rows in the database so now we select name phone from phone book will get a list of phone numbers. You have the name at the side and the f at the left side and the phone number at the right side and you got the separator which is the bar the vertical bar in the middle. And they're both strings so we're okay for now. And this would be in a typical phone book application for example if you just wanna you know look up the numbers this is a great way to do it. Now let's suppose you wanna change a phone number Okay, then you would type update phone book and you set phone equals six 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 one two three four where name equals Ray. Okay, so what we're doing is we're gonna change Ray's phone number to six 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 one two three four. If you look in the previous, you see Ray is 2221111. So we do the update, and then select from the phone book, and you'll notice Ray's phone number 6661234 has changed from 2221111. All right. We can also change the name by going up to, well, um, uh, right now, 3331111 is, belongs to Faye, and we may want to update her name. So we'll say update phone book. That name equals Faye Jones, where phone equals 333-1111. Okay, now, oops, and you have to put the semicolon, or SQLite will ask you for more fields. This is a good feature because that lets you break commands up into multiple lines. Okay, now if we select, we'll notice it's Faye Jones who has uh, 3331111 uh, and, and, and the reason 
we have two people is we had used that phone number twice. Um, now next thing we're going to do after this is we're going to delete K from the phone book. Whoops. Uh, from whoops from phone book where name equals K. Now if we do a select again, we'll notice that K's, K's number, which was 5553333, is no longer there. Okay, next thing we're going to do is um, we are going to Let's suppose we were, we knew we had somebody in the phone book, and we knew their phone number was a three three had a three 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 in it. We could go select from phone book where phone like three three three. So it's going to do is look for the three 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 in the phone number. See what you get. Whoops, that didn't quite work. Let's try it. That's right, we need to have a percent sign qualifier on both sides. Whoop. Select from phone book. Oh, sorry, I have to say select star from phone book. That's the nice thing about SQLite, you get the error messages back. And there you go. You have Faye Jones with 333 in the phone number. You can also say select from phone book where phone like two two percentage and of course we have to go select star there we go um so that lets you do searches from the phone book you can obviously uh, insert more values into the phone book for example, let's say you want to reinsert uh, Bala Subramanium back into the phone book. So you go into insert into phone book values Bala Subramanium and 3332221. And then if you do a select again, oops, select, you'll notice that Bala Subramanium's name is right there. Um, if you do a dot dump, you can uh, see that that's the entire phone book and in fact you can save this text into a file if you want to uh, if you want to save it and uh, you can also delete from phone book and that gets rid of everything in the phone book this SQLite tutorial was intended to show you that you can use an SQLite a simple SQLite table with a simple number of insert, delete, update statements to, um, to implement a phone book. Uh, you can wrap this, these SQL commands in a software driver and write a little command line or even web program to build your phone book. And that's the end of the tutorial. I fa hope you found it enjoyable.